Hello, my name is Raymond. I'm Raymond Andrade or Ray Andrade. I'm some guy at random.la and this is our continuation of building an MVC application using Entity Framework. Yes, but on the Mono Develop. Open source Ubuntu is the computer that I'm using or the OS that I'm using. So this is way different than just doing the Visual Studio. I remember in an earlier um, statement I called Visual Studio the Visual Basic and no I meant Visual Studio at that time and I still do. Visual Studio is a pretty good IDE Mono Develop is a little bit more less of an IDE but it's the open source solution and um, I'm throwing it at you okay so the next thing is where we last left off we built a model person and we mapped it to the people database on the MySQL DB that we sort of created. Here's the description. That's where we left off. Here's the context. And speaking of context, segue, we will add a people context. So pretty much what I want to do is I want to add a folder called context DBs. Um, add new folder and the folders I, I just said okay and that's just for my organization the um, file that we're going to add is we're, we're going to need a people context or a person context whichever you want to use I want to use a people context add new uh, file just a blank um, empty class I'm going to call it people context and again to organize this I'm going to change the namespace to context DBs like I did with the models the people context needs to inherit from a the entity framework DB context so let's do that now I need to resolve that so I'm basically using system.entity so I need to include that and that'll take care of that it also needs to know where the um, connection string is and if we recall we added the connection string right there and that's the name so let's go back over to people context and we will add let it know where the connection string is the next thing I guess would be to um, add a um, this is an initializer which um, is used I'm going to cut and paste it and I'm going to explain it because I think w above is sufficient but this is used to use a connection if it exists and um, it's sort of you know conserva conservation of um, pools but this is initializer and most cases we'll be using this initializer so let's resolve this DB connection and that's going to be of um, what is it this comes from system.data but there's going to be a problem here watch System.data.common is not recognized. And it's because when I go over here to the references, and I'll edit references, and I go for system.data. I pretty well I'll have the I cut it everything I'm using over. There we go. I see that it's not included and a version 4.0445 and remember this is 5 or something 52 I think but we need to include this and when we include this it it'll, it'll resolve so let's say okay and it resolves so system.data needs to be included in the references um what else do I need to get oh I also need a data data set so we need access to people so we'll have a data set called uh, people and person again doesn't resolve because we have this name um, 
space resolve resolve to do. So let's do that. Let's resolve this to models and just like we have BB context. So this is a solid file. I bet you I can build this, clean all, and rebuild. Looks pretty good. The next thing I want to do is work is create a person controller. So let's create a controller. Um, mono.dev style. So how does that work? We go over here to controllers. We're going to add a new controller and this is how it gives us. It just gives us the controller name so we just put a post fix of the model that we're trying to control. Person controller. And there are no templates. Controller with read. I didn't see this last time. Ooh, let's give this a yeah, let's give this a try. I we can edit this. I we're going down a territory that I, I haven't really resolved. Let's open that baby up. And by gosh, look at that! Look at those that. Oh, anyway. Okay, so we'll we'll text these one at a time. The thing that I basically want to do is I want to test my entity framework. So I have a little script over here and I'll explain it as I paste it in. It'll, it's going to take the person object, we're going to set it to first name and last name, we're going to add the person and we're going to save the changes and then redirect to the index home. But as you can see person doesn't resolve so we need to add the um, was it web dot person? So or web dot models. Okay, and what else doesn't? And the dat database doesn't resolve. Well, the approach. Well, we're gonna have to resolve use using um, web dot context dbs but that's not going to really take care of everything because these I haven't declared this and the way I sort of do this is I make it a private variable local okay and the other thing that I that I need to do is I will add the um, initializer or when this file is called I want it to um, in, uh, uh, instantiate the people context. Okay. Now it might need to be the case that I need to do a a base or a super here, but I haven't found that to be a problem yet. So this looks pretty good. Does this build? Yes, we build all, and it should be rebuilding fine. Especially since I'm cutting and pasting from previously doing this. But let me walk through the code. This control our action is going to create a new person, give it a name, save changes, and redirect to home. So let's go to the view of, um, where is it? The home index. And basically what I want to do here is, add, is I'll add a BR first. And I am going to just add an action key. I'm not even going to create any of the sh of the views for the people yet. So let's just add a action link, HTML action link, and pretty much that should do it. It's going to go to the test edition and the person controller. So let's rebuild this, or actually, we can just run it. Uh, ooh, so where is this happening? Not implementation of method. Oh, I remember this. This is a configuration error. So let's let's go over here to. So it's good to see the errors and how I resolve them. I think what I need, <coughs> take a look at this. I think it's this one right here. Uh, yes. Uh, what I'm missing from this is a way to resolve the, how should I say it, or what is it? It's the 
entity. We're using Microsoft um, Entity Framework, um, MySQL, and we don't have that included. Is there anything else? We got the data common. We got the data entity. I think this should be sufficient. So let's uh, run with this. Stop it. And system configuration was thrown. Unrecognized. Let's copy all of this, and I'm going to read it in a in a G edit. So I'll do this, and I'll come over here, and I'll look at this. Let's maximize this. Oh, here's a problem right here. It says something at line 30 in the web.config. Let me see what I messed up there. So um, I'll go over here. We'll go to the web.config. Around line 30, we have um, the entity framework starts. Invariant name. Is it the six nine eight and that works that's right um, close connection string okay I see it and it comes basically from this you can follow this link if you need to but basically what what should be here is we should have a section name called entity framework I'll just cut and paste this um, over and require permission. Yeah. Incidentally, this code will be posted on GitHub so you can sort of examine it yourself if um, cutting and pasting doesn't suit you well, but it, there it is. Okay, so this is the the um, version one, 613. Am I using that? Version 613. Oh, that's a MySQL. Okay, entity framework. Where is it? Just making sure that my versions are correct. Just any framework, MySQL data, da, 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 da. Yeah, that should work. Let's save this. And then let's run this again. So stop it. It should run. Run with mono develop. No build errors. It, perfect. It opens up Mozilla Firefox. Welcome to Ins. Now here comes the magic part. So here's our MySQL client. We're going to show you that there's nothing up my sleeve. Select star from people. You see the one that we inserted previously. We test the insert. We notice that it goes and it comes back. Did a post and it comes back. We select star from the people and we see that a new record has been inserted. So we're confident that our entity framework is working correctly. So now let's add the CRUD operations. To stay tuned. Ciao. This has been some guy at random.la. I hope you enjoy these videos.